Hello everybody and welcome back. I am Karex and we're going to be continuing on with this Castilian Quick Start Guide. And we are coming into second episode here, part two. And we are going to be doing opening moves now. So we've already gone through, we've done the estates, we've looked at the economy, we looked at the trade situation, we got our navy doing stuff. We have some ships protecting against pirates, we have some ships protecting trade. We're moving up all of our troops to Seville because it's our highest um supply limit area i believe in our country and we're going to be drilling up in seville trying to get army professionalism so we can get more manpower by slackening so converting army professionalism into manpower so that we can quickly get prepared for reconquista sooner rather than later we do need to build up to our force limit which is why one of the yeah we need three thousand more troops to do that and then we're basically just going to burn a bunch of army professionalism and hope we get enough manpower uh in order to uh to quickly get that mission done before Portugal and Aragon get a chance to attack Granada themselves. All right, let's roll. We are trying to, uh, we're going to be buttering up the Pope. We're buttering up Navarra. We have an alliance with Aragon. We're going to be getting an alliance with Portugal as well here. We don't really need to build spy networks on anyone because for the most part, we have, we're getting free claims on Granada and that will tie into free claims on Northern Morocco, although Tlemcen is definitely a really good opportunity, usually for a quick and easy decisive war. Um, we are going to want to go through and uh, make sure that we're really babysitting uh, the Nez uh, <laughs> Navarra here. Pope. If Pope's going to accept, I'd like to lock in the alliance with the Pope if we could. Navarra wants, there we go. Everybody, we're accepting all of the royal marriages and stuff. That'll help us get a claim. We need a royal marriage with Navarro too. And Aragon. We can't get a royal marriage with the Pope. Perfect. Everything's set up here. Let's get all these troops over here. Although, realistically, I don't know if they're going to be able to fit here. We do have a 3... 26... 30. Yeah, unfortunately, one dude just has to sit in Toledo. But I think the rest of them will be able to fit down here. I don't think there's... Oh, th oh, oh! the supply limit here is much higher. It must be because this is like wheat or li it's livestock. Yeah, okay. So Aragon has claimed our throne, which is interesting. However, I don't think realistically they could do anything about that because we're allied to them, right? I'm a little concerned, however... At the prospect that is as Naples broken free. Note Naples is still there. Liberty desires below 50%, but there's an event that Naples will eventually get to kind of break off and do their own thing. Let's drill with these troops. Drill, drill, drill. A couple things we needed to do. We needed to come in here. We needed to get these uh, get these guys online. I do want to continue to build troops with the money and manpower that we have quickly as we can so we can have as many troops as possible drilling because we get more army professionalism per year if we have more uh, troops uh, the maximum sort of amount of troops that we could be drilling drilling i don't really want to mess with uh, aragon's opinion of us so we'll take this bottom option we haven't been raided yet which feels good that's because we have the ships that are protecting uh, against pirates um the, man the fact that aragon is like on our back right now is kind of bothering me a little bit Yeah, why haven't we done this? Let's go, let's just do that. So let's look at our trade situation here for a second. We're making 4.8, 4.84 from that. We are moving over um, 0 0.27 to Seville. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to collect here. I'm going to pull this guy from Tunis. I want to see if this 4.84 goes up or down. So we're going to check that in like two months. We're going to wait two months for that to fully reset and get cozy. Two ticks. It's going to take a second for the merchant to over in for numbers to update. You know, we might actually go to speed four just because we're kind of chilling here. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Aragon, what have you done, dude? Why do you only have 8,000 troops, man? Okay, so there, guys, there's an issue with... There is an issue... Since 1.3, where the AI cannot play the game anymore. Man, EU4 is in such an amazing state. See, we eclipsed uh, 
Wait, did we? It, it doesn't count as an eclipse. It looks like Lithuania and Poland are now teamed up together. I'm going to rival England. Reason being, uh, it might get us on a better term with France. Although the other way to look at that is we ally England against France. But, but I think France will turn around on us here. So let's look at some of the things we can do here to expand. We can have steer trade. I believe that gives a plus 20. Does it? Maybe it doesn't. Maybe I got that backwards. Maybe it's transfer trade power. Yikes. A claim guarantee. What we're trying to do is we're trying to beat Aragon to Navarra. We're trying to get Navarra first. We can offer them military access, I think. We do need an heir to pop up. I don't I don't know what the deal is here. We have so many. We have so many um Wait, what? The, wait, what? Personal union with Aragon. They got it. There's an event that happens where Aragon can get that with an event. Okay. Okay. So we have lost it. Does, does, technically, does it, it still... We do have a royal marriage with them, even though they're a vassal. That's kind of interesting, actually. That's kind of interesting. Um, so that's actually going to tie up a relationship slot, despite the fact that they're a subject of another nation. That's kind of goofy, and we already have a relationship with that other nation. That's super goofy. Oh, interesting. It looks like Sus is uh, declaring their independence. So Telemsen and... For the most part, this is going to be a long war, but it does look like Telemsen and Tunis are going to come over here and wreck... Uh, Morocco. Let's get spy networks on on Morocco. So we lost the uh, we lost the battle for for Navarra. That's fine. I think I think I think Castile or uh, Aragon just gets like a, an event that just gives it to him nine times out of ten. Let's embargo some of our rivals like Morocco. And uh, England, and our other rival is, isn't it someone pretty irrelevant, pretty far away? Burgundy. I mean, Burgundy, the funny thing is Burgundy's not totally irrelevant. I mean, there's a world in which we actually, if we befriended Burgundy, we could actually inherit some of that land up there. Cancel, yeah, Navarra is just, yeah. Well, that would be good. I mean, ideally, if, if Navarra... Um, you know, quite honestly, it'd be good if... Oh, nice. Oh, we don't have the royal marriage with them. It just it just cancels, I guess. Okay. So we could technically... 0%, 0%. Hmm. We have a relationship slot. We could try to butter up France, but they hate us. They could change their mind on this. Ooh. Hmm. Naples. Naples has broken free. It might be worth allying Naples just to try to keep them together, keep them strong, and then re-inherit them later. Could be the plan. Is there actually a way to do that? It doesn't look like we ever get a mission that just gives us a CB to inherit Naples, but they do have our dynasty. Like, if we went to the dynasty map mode, it would show... Uh, Naples is of our dynasty, so we would be able to kind of, I don't know. Okay, we are at maximum force limit. I don't usually like playing at speed 4, but right now we're kind of just moving and grooving here. Getting about 0 0.07. We should be getting about 1% per year. Like that was 0.8, right? So 0.8 times 12. Gold rush. Holy cow. That's a nice little bonus right off the top. Let's go. Uh, we could get the uh, merchant navy thing done. 
since it's cheap, it, that'll only go up in time, become more expensive over time. We could have easily used sailors to save us a little bit of manpower, but at this point right now, if we go to slacken, we get 6,000 manpower. So we can get we can get a total of 13,000 manpower from doing this. Will that get us to 60%? I think it will. I think if we hit this button two times, we get 60% manpower. We don't really have to rush that until um, until the truce is over here. Although, man, it would be very interesting to actually attack. We could take Tangiers for ourselves. This is a very good trade node. I don't know, guys. This is tough. Where's Northern Morocco? This is part of Northern Morocco. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Don't we have a thousand dudes there? Okay, I need to. We need to check on this war. Who's winning and in, in, in stuff like that? Well, Granada is even fighting against Morocco. Let's get these ships unmothballed and get them around. I think, uh, how much time do we have? Well, we have enough. We, we can go all the way up to uh, February 1449 because we just don't want Aragon or uh, uh, Portugal to, to declare on, on Granada before us. Ideally, if Granada can take care of those rebels, that would be nice too because I don't have to fight them ourselves. 19,000 there. Tlemcen, what's the dealio over here, man? I'm confused. Tunis and Tlemcen are in this war. Why are they not doing more? Tunis. 10,000 troops. Okay. 12,000 troops from Morocco. Oh, to let okay, I'm gonna do this. Ten thousand troops, uh, six thousand manpower. So they have ten thousand troops. Tunis has eight thousand manpower. Morocco has five thousand manpower. Hmm. Yeah, the, all of the Moroccan troops are right there. I don't, I don't know exactly what's going on here, to be honest. Ooh, development cost. Local production is going up, though. The ability in the clergy are going to get some more land, apparently. We actually ended up finishing that miss mission for the nobility, so they're pretty happy. Equilibrium is above 50%, above 50%, but not high enough. Not high enough. What can we do here for these guys to get their equilibrium up a little bit higher? I think we need to do this. Yeah, let's get their equilibrium up to 50. That way we can continually yank a land from them and stuff without much of a penalty. So that policy right there is just the one that gives them 10 more influence for 10 more loyalty. Like, like what's going on here exactly? This is interesting because we have 20,000 rebels that are sieging down Fez. That is definitely going to pave the way for um, a... Uh, uh, basically just Morocco having a bad day. I'm trying to understand exact what is, exactly what Tunis and Tunis and everybody is doing. Our manpower is going up. Oh, Granada has barely any allies. Still making good money here. I think we attack Granada first. Stop drilling. Go over here, let's slack in as many times as we need to. That's about 50% manpower, right? We're at exactly 50% manpower. Yep, I think we have to do it. There we go. Mission complete. Prepare for Reconquista. 
Slackening was a big reason why we were able to do that so quickly. Let's hit the button before something changes. There we go. Permanent claims on all of Granada there. So... And I think in February we can attack. Granada is actually out of the war. I mean, Morocco is going to continue to get beat up on, right? I mean, that, that's actually really... The, like, the rebels are making big progress in Fez. That's huge. That's huge. If the rebels take Fez, we can actually attack Morocco when they try to desiege Fez. Oh man, that's actually insane. Oh, we can attack in 14 days. Okay. Let's go down to speed three. Here we go, guys. It's not going to be the most exciting war in the world. These guys will join, but they're completely irrelevant here. It doesn't really matter what we do for the war goal. And just like that, the war is over. Basically. So. Granada doesn't have any heavies. These guys don't have any ships at all. They weren't able to get their morale back, really. There we go. War is over. The war is over. Looks like uh, Portugal has some rebel issues. But we do actually have this province down here, guys. Something to keep in mind, I guess. So that means we can get claims even on these two provinces way down low. So this is where we could support certain houses. Uh, do we get something from this? Eh, what the heck? Let's send them money. Well, this I see what's going on. We send them money and the re rebellion is more harsh. We have money to spare. Let's let's just do it for fun. We only need 6,000 guys here. Let's go down to 7,000, back these guys out. Those guys can just hang out here and continue to loot, I guess. Um, hope they've already looted everything. Don't, I hope this war doesn't end. We really need, like, like, where is Tunis? How is Tunis, is Tunis in multiple different wars? No. How are they losing this war? I don't understand. Clemson and Tunis, how are they, and, and since it gets Morocco and a couple little, little subjects, I, I don't understand how they're not uh, doing a better job with that. Because we're a zealot, get a little bit of a better outcome there. We could be drilling right now. Oh, we definitely shouldn't be paying for our forts right now. It's completely unnecessary because the war is effectively over. I'm tempted to drill, actually. I'm also wondering if we're going to be attacking Morocco soon. Okay, 
think we'll go back up to speed four while we just try to get these sieges done. It'd be very difficult and um, annoying to get over here to actually beat these guys up. So we might have to sit on this war for, for a minute. Um, we could maybe try uh, getting getting military access through here. It'd be three different people. I mean, I wonder if they'd get military access and we could just walk down. Right here, let's see. England got upset. I, I guess maybe England took care of the rebels that we sent them. Tolerance of heretics. We're not going to have any heretics, though, is the thing. But just getting free prestige seems like the easiest thing that we could do. Surprised we haven't gotten an heir yet. What the heck? Got royal marriages with everybody. Why are we not getting an heir? That's good. I'm a little bit worried about um, this naval engagement potential. You don't know. We don't. We don't need to fight that naval engagement. Get out of there. Just, just hang out. Just, just kind of hang out. We don't need to fight that navy. Well, actually, hmm. we could steal some of those ships. Let's just get more lights over here. They do have an admiral. I, I don't know. This could be a bad engagement. We'll just assume it's fine. Heavy ships are pretty strong. Like, I don't know why Tunis isn't trying to seize Fez or something. They're never going to do this. Because it would, it would result in their vassalization. We don't have military access through any of this stuff. Actually, if I got military access through Portugal, nope. There's no way to get military access down there. I mean, it's an easy war, but it looks like we stole a couple of their lights. Feels good. Feels real good. You know, what we could do, quite honestly, is we could just attack Morocco. Morocco, if we attacked Morocco, that would give us military access to get down here and beat those guys up. And we know that these, wow, they have 6,000 troops. That's, that's downright impressive. That's downright impressive. Let's go. Let's attack Morocco. It's, it's time. Their country is like completely sieged. If they try to make moves on uh, on Fez, we can just we can attack into them. Oh, poor dudes. This is actually going to be really really good for us if they sit on Fez, and they have to do this, right? Like they're actually wait. What's going on here? I don't know what just happened. They like sortie. Uh, sortie is when when the garrison runs out. They um, they assaulted, but the the were the walls even breached? I'm actually super confused. Yeah, let's attack Morocco before something happens here. I don't I don't know what just happened to Morocco. The Moroccan troops. We could actually go for this province here. And wait to take all this when we get the free claims. But I think Portugal is probably going to jump on soon. Marrakesh. These two guys are irrelevant. These guys here are relatively irrelevant. Yeah, I think we'd attack. I think we'd go for it. They only have 5,000. They've lost all their units. I don't know what happened here, but holy cow. Here we go. Yeah, they, they the AI tried to siege. I, I don't know what the heck just happened, to be honest. Yeah, they're crushed. They're crushed. Oh wait, those guys actually became units? 
Hmm. And now we're in trouble. Rip. Yeah, we just kind of made a... We have made a mistake. These guys are stuck. I'm confused. Is this winning? <laughs> now they are. Okay. Okay, that's not good. Where are our 10 transports? Okay, those nice. Those guys have backed out of there. They're going into Tangiers. We can fight them here. The fact that they actually got to... Uh, they, they were able to take on... They actually absorbed a pretender army. That's so trolly. But that that's that's exactly what happened. Hey, they don't have any troops left, I don't think. Not really. Ten thousand? Bucko's got five thousand. They're not gonna be able to attack into us like that. This is going to be a huge amount of attrition up here, though. Maybe we do move back with the, with the horses. Cavalry. Okay. They'll actually accept this now. That war is over. That's a booyah right there. Lose to stability, the religion changes to Catholic. Uh, Granada loses the cores on those provinces. Um, or we could just gain a free stability and then presumably we'd be able to convert these ourselves. So we could instantly just kick these guys out. I think all the provinces are Christian religion group. So basically if we were to hit the top option, we'd lose a bunch of stability and then we'd immediately be able to get this option to get the free claims on, on northern uh, North Morocco. Uh, it would also prevent rebellion. I think we're actually going to take the free stability. First, let's actually... It's very expensive, but I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do that. So we'll, we'll go up to stability. Where is that? I don't think we... There's no unrest issues here. So gaining a little bit of unrest there is not going to be a big deal. We can easily stomp that out. We have the fort here that's covering some of this area. Um, yeah, we'll keep that fort online. These forts we can turn off, though. In fact, I'm almost tempted to get rid of the Toledo fort entirely. We're still making money. We need to core those. We can convert this. We'll be able to convert this just fine, even if we have to go in and do a uh, uh, do one of these holy orders. Like, this will make it so that we can... A local missionary strength will be 1.5, right? So. Renaissance has spawned. We might want to think about how we deal with that. Uh, we need to make sure that we're rooting out corruption here. Actually, taking land from Morocco here is going to make it so that we are going to be... Ooh, 14% Tangiers. Let's go. Okay. So we own Tangiers, but now we can't even walk to Tangiers. That makes sense. That makes sense. They have 14,000 troops. They are building back up, no no doubt about it. Oh, Telepson actually ended up taking a big chunk over here, including the gold province down here. Wowzers. Telepson looking like they're popping off a little bit here. I know this episode is going a little bit longer, so I apologize about that, guys. But thanks for being here. Um, I'm enjoying this little run. 
with Castile here. And I want to just win this war against Morocco. And then I think um, from there... Honestly, taking Fez would be good. Just because it's it's a mountain fort. I mean, it's so annoying having to deal with that. We don't... It doesn't look like we ever get permanent claims. Gaharb and Algiers. Algiers would be over here, right? We need to go to the areas map mode. What, what is that? No. Assign keyboard chart? I've never done that before in my life. I don't know why I just clicked on that. Okay, uh, it's this area here. It's, it's this bit here. So we're never going to get a permanent claim. We will never get a permanent claim on Fez, this, this whole region. So I think if we just take like Tangiers... So we have a claim on Tangiers. If we take Tangiers and Fez, that, that'll be the, the goal for this run. Oh, Portugal. Portugal's at war. I guarantee they're trying to get... Uh, they're trying to take Tangiers. We need to get out of here quick. How are they... See, this is where the AI just loves to cheat, right? This is where the AI loves to cheat. They're just walking through forts like it's nothing. I think for the most part, if we could just grab those, we're, we're going to be out. Portugal, I mean, presumably you only have a claim there. Portugal, what do you want? You want all of that, though. If Portugal takes some of it, I think that's going to be fine. And humiliating them would be pretty good. No, I think we got to hold off for the humiliation. don't want to fight Morocco in the mountains. But if we can siege a little bit more of their country here. Ooh, a weak claim to the throne. A 3-2-3. Three, three. Good evening, my lady. No. 50% cost, uh, cost national treasure. That, that'd be fantastic. Let's get them on deck. Let's even level them up to level 2. We're making tons of money here. Could we, could we make them level 3? I think we could. Level 3. Nice. Let's do those. Here's the problem. If we core these, we won't have enough to uh, to take this land. We need 99 for that. It'll be a few, a few minutes before we get that fully done, though, so... Morocco just won a battle there because they have so many heavies. Morocco, how you feeling, dude? Not feeling the humiliation, though. If we hold on this, they will accept that, I promise, but... Where is that? Okay. Accepting the, the top option here is not really that bad. They're at their full equilibrium. Losing the 10 prestige is a little unfortunate, though. But, I mean, it's just peasants, right? It's just 6,000 peasants. It's pretty easy to take care of. Oh, do we lose our military? We lost our general. We might need to... Oh, I forgot about our uh, military tech here. we got to get the next military tech. Oh, we did pay a 1% penalty because we don't have Renaissance, but that's okay.
I don't want to give them a bunch of land. Ooh, a free stability. Heck yes. That's fantastic. Although when that trends back up, we can steal more land back. With the three stability, we can actually get... Ooh, this is great. So, hmm. Yes. Let's go down here. Let's do religious unity. And these conversions should actually take only a few years. Obviously, that's a long time to have to wait before getting free claims on Morocco. But what we could do is once we do, the, once we do what we're doing here, we could... Humiliation would be huge. It would be absolutely huge if we could get that. Um, the only way we're going to be able to get that is if we siege out a little bit more of our enemy here. We do not have a general. Sorry, guys. This <laughs> episode's going a bit longer than, than was expected here. Um... Let's have these guys come back and actually just repair a little bit. Or are you guys not? You guys are protecting trade. They're just kind of sitting there, though. It's a little goofy. Why do we not have an air yet? I don't. I don't even get that. If we could get those guys out of the war, the war would be over. But I'd like to end the war with Morocco sooner, because the sooner we can end the war, the more likely that they could fight back, successfully fight back against Portugal who seems to be just kind of like dominating him here. So I'm a little bit concerned about that. I hope they have an ace up their sleeve or something. Oh, oh, why did, why did Portugal lose? Wait, oh, Portugal ended the war. That's, that's amazing. That is amazing. I'm going to do this. I'm going to have them auto-transport. And these guys we can't get around, apparently. I think if we take this fort, but man, it's, it's being expensive to do that. We need the full 9,000 here, so let's leave 10. Fighting. They don't really want to fight this, to be honest. They have a heavy ship. I'm going to back those guys out, even if it, we lose that slightly. I don't know why those trade ships are just chilling there. I was wondering if we want to base... I think we do want to base tax here, preferably. That is going to make those guys upset, though, so it is worth considering that. 90% for the Granada and Separatists. Okay, you guys all come back quickly, quickly, quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. We know they're going to pop up in Granada. Ooh, this is not good. We need a general stat. Pretty good general. Just get back here. Just get back here quickly, quickly, quickly. As long as these guys don't appear before we... We need to get... To, we need to be standing on Granada first. We messed this up. We messed this up. Here they come. Yep. Rip. Okay, we did get there in time, but we're going to be fighting into the mountains. It's going to be a very costly battle. Manpower-wise, oh, we're actually not losing too many troops. Uh, we lost a number of thousands. Thousands uh, of, of men. Uh, 5,000 dudes died there. But at least it, it gets rid of that issue. 60%. They will accept this now. So that's a humiliation. That's taking Fez. Portugal got nothing. Get rid of that fort. Mothball. All of our forts. These guys are going to come back. We are converting the land here. There's not going to be any rebellion in any of these zones. 
there will be a rebellion over here. We're allied to Portugal, and, and we can very easily just continue to hold on to our military access there. We're very, very close. Oh, we can't we can't core Fez until we core Tangiers first. No big deal. Um, we do have the ability to get claims on all this, but not really too big of a deal here because we're going to be getting free claims on all this eventually too. There we go. We can actually be getting claims on Sus if we wanted. We could become Defender of the Faith. We got a lot of money. Got a lot of money. But there we go, guys. We have a great economy. We have a roaring economy. We've taken Fez and Tangiers, uh, which means we can continue to beat up Morocco as much as we want. We're going to get permanent claims for the rest of this area here. Hopefully by converting these areas. Portugal had a failed war. They had a they had a successful war, but it ended up they didn't take any land, right? They took no land in the war against uh, Morocco, which is amazing because we were kind of blocking them a little bit. Our money is not as great as it was, but we're paying for good advisors, including a level three admin advisor. This is a fantastic run so far. Um, we do need to, of course, be spending, instead of like spending points on, on things like uh, Diplotech, we need to be getting Renaissance. Actually, is Renaissance, Renaissance is actually spreading here, but it's spreading at a snail's pace. Um, I don't know if we could just wait for France to sort of absorb it, Aragon, and so on and so forth. I, I don't know. Yeah, it's not really spreading in any of these places very quickly. Technically, in, in Corsica it is. That, that could bounce to Aragon, and then that could bounce to us. But yeah, it's going up very slowly. Guys, it's a very long episode here. Good opening moves, though. Good opening 10 years for Castile. We're doing absolutely fantastic. Um, that That's, I think, honestly, like a perfect start for Castile. Although we haven't gotten the PE with Aragon yet, but that's just a matter of time. We haven't got our own heir yet. Uh, looks like they have a male on the throne. We do not have an heir yet. Um, that's one thing that's a little bit worrisome, because I don't know why we haven't gotten an heir in 10 years of, of just hanging out. So thanks, everybody, for watching this episode. If you guys have any questions, please ask down below. Of course, there is a playlist link to other SWOT analysis and opening moves videos that we've done down below in the description as well. Uh, thanks, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next one.